go through these quickly without do too much explanation. So solve the following quadratic expert equation by factorization. Number one, we have highest common factor. Number two, we have difference of two squares. You can use those concepts. We have perfect square. Ensure you pause the different segments so you can get to write it down. You can pause the video so you can actually write these down. Okay. So we'll get solutions. And for this one, 1a, use an nice icon factor to solve. We have 0 and negative 9 over 5. And we have for the second one, the values of x is 0 and 7 over 9. For 2a, it's negative 4 and 4. And for b, it's also negative 4 and positive 4. For for number four, let's skip three. Perfect square, it's x equal positive five. Only one solution as it's a perfect square. For three, a, the solution negative four and three. B, two and negative one. For C, negative three and positive one. For D, it's negative two and negative five. That solution, y values. Um, for C, e, it's value for P is negative three over two. For F, no solutions. Um, the reason being, is that it could not be solved by factorization and hence we have to use the, the formula method okay in order to solve that which we'll look at in another video Difference of two squares.
Me? Now remember, has to be equal to zero. Highest common factor must be done first. Once there's a common factor, that is. Now this is the difference of two squares. Now, see what we have here? Same thing as we have here. So we'll have these two. And again. Just like I did here. First battle last. And that will give us four and three. Multiply, give us that, add, give us that. Factorize. Sorry about that. X plus 4 equals 0. Subtract both sides. Okay. Must be equal to 0. First by the last, negative 10. And the two factors we're looking for, which one 5, it's a bit minus 2x plus 5x. Multiply these two, give us negative 10x squared, and add them, give us that. Either x is equal to positive 2. Alright, put 2 there, you can become 0. So that should be easy. Right, if you want to work it out, alright, or positive 5, so it be negative 5. Let's check it out. Subtract 5 from both sides. Solution. Set. To a negative 5. This one over here now. Must be equal to 0.
subtracting 5 on both sides because 2x squared plus 4x minus 6 equals 0 we can actually factorize this quickly the highest common factor Always look at the decimal factor first. Then let's factorize the middle. 3 times 2. 3 times x squared is 3. Times x squared is negative 3x squared. 3 be negative. And that will be 1 and 3. And so we'll write back the x squared. And this will become positive 3 and negative 1. negative 1x, that is. Multiply these two, you get negative 3x squared. When you add them, you get positive 2x. Factorizing this, let's put a square bracket to differentiate between the brackets I'm going to use now. Taking out x, I'm going to get x plus 3. And with a negative 1 here. See, so continue to factorize. Last common is x plus 3. And we'll have x minus 1 here. 0. So the solution is x plus 3. x minus 1 equals 0. Not a complete solution yet. So either this equals zero or this equals zero. Two cannot be equal to zero. So either or these are our two solutions. You can put them, you can put the solutions here and you certainly will get 5. Okay, we have to solve this. Now, recognize this will be a quadratic. Y, y times y will give us y squared when we use this distributive law. And y squared is a quadratic term, so that we have to make this 0 by subtracting it from both sides. Now, let's look at what would, this would have been if we had only been given this. If we were given this, what would be the solution? Well, we already have two factors equal zero, so one of these factors must be zero. So either y plus four equals zero, that means y is negative four, the opposite sign of this, right? Now let's subtract from both sides. We see that y is negative four. Negative four plus four equals zero. Same size, different signs give you zero. Or y plus 3 equals 0. Obviously, this will be negative 3. Opposite, same size, opposite sign give us 0. Uh, we can subtract 3 from both sides. We have y equal negative 3. So these will be the two solutions. y equals negative 4 and y equals negative 3. However, for this one, we cannot do that the same way. So first of all, we need to expand the brackets first. y times y gives y squared. Then we're going to get 3y, y times 3. Then we get 4y, 4 times y, and then 12, 4 times 3, equal 2. What do we do next? We then subtract 2 from both sides to remove the 2 from here. So we have y squared plus, this will give us 7y. And subtracting 2 from both sides, we'll have 